This week's topic is about the defensive topic of signalling. And it's one of the most important areas of bridge. If I sit down with a new partner, I'm always on the lookout to try and tell whether my partner is going to be signalling or is going to be watching out for my signals. Um, and I find that quite a lot of uh, intermediate players don't seem to bother or don't really know how to signal. And we're going to look um, in this video at a relatively narrow topic of signalling when you lead the ace against a suit contract. So a situation like this where you've opened one club, North made a one no trump overcall. Now that shows typically 15 to 17 points with a club stopper. And South has a bid three hearts. That should show a five card heart suit, enough values for game, and North goes to four hearts. So you leave the ace of clubs, down comes dummy, <coughs> and you can see that uh, North does indeed have uh, some kind of club stopper there. Um, but what we're going to try and do is to try and figure out uh, what my partner's play on this card means. So Declara plays the two from dummy, your partner plays the nine, and the five is played from uh, Declara. Now, that nine looks like a high-ish card, doesn't it? It looks like a high card, and Declara, uh, sorry, your partner is presumably signaling high to encourage because they want you to continue that suit. What do you think they might have that would be suitable for continuing that suit? Well, I think it's quite likely to be a doubleton. Think about it. You started off with six clubs, so seven, eight, nine. If your partner's got two, declare has got two. But that means it's safe to try and take your two trick. So take your ace, take your king. Your partner now plays the three. Uh, that's sometimes called Peter playing high-low, but it is basically encouraging for some reason. And Declara follows too. Now that's um, eight clubs gone. So you can actually see that um, uh, neither Declara nor your partner have any more clubs. However, it's a very good idea to play a last club because by catching the ace-king, you have set up that queen. So you need to stop that king uh, queen from making a trick. Let's leave a low club. Your partner will rough. Even though that gets over roughed, at least you have prevented Declara making a trick with the queen, which could have been very valuable for them. If we uh, look at the four hands at this point, you can see you've won two tricks now, and Declara is almost certainly going to lose two more tricks here. He's got finesses to try in diamonds and spades, but with both of those not working, he will go down uh, one trick. So he might start by drawing trumps here, then try one of the finesses. Uh, but if your partner gets in with the <coughs> king of spades, I hope he can, you can see he should uh, probably lead a diamond here. And again, if Declara tries that finesse as well, he's out of luck. And you'll make the first uh, four tricks there. So this was all about uh, your partner playing the nine and the three to encourage you and uh, prevent that queen from making a trick. Um, let's try this one again. This actually is the identical hand, the identical dummy. Again, you leave the ace of clubs. This time your partner plays the three and Declara plays the nine. Now, what do you make of that three? Well, with the two being played, I hope you can see that that three is clearly your partner's lowest club. So he is not encouraging. He is, um, he's got a holding where he doesn't really want to encourage you to carry on with this suit. And in fact, that nine of clubs from Declara, which is a high card, is quite possible uh, to be Declara's only card. Think about it. If your partner is discouraging, it will be in a situation like this, unless that were a singleton, that he maybe had three cards in the suit, and that would leave Declara with just one card. So on a hand like this, 
can you see you really do not want to be carrying on with uh, clubs. If we bring up the four hands, you can see that if you did carry on, suppose you tried to catch the king at this point, the Clara would rough and you would have set up the uh, queen of clubs there. So switch to another suit. Um, not particularly obvious what to. Maybe the nine of spades, uh, top of a, a doubleton there. And this time you're in luck, your partner can win the uh, king. Now, <clears throat> it's not so bad for East to play a club here, because um, if uh, Declare roughs that one, as they may well choose to do, now you just discard, uh, just play a low club, and you'll still be able to prevent the queen from making a trick, but you've still got the king. Okay, so you've made two tricks now. Um, let's see what happens next. Declare will uh, draw trumps. Okay, and suppose he tries the diamond finesse, that fails, you win the, uh, sorry, let's go back, you win the king, and um, it's actually fairly safe for you to cash, try to cash the king of clubs. It will draw the queen, and even though Declara can uh, rough that, that's actually Declara's last uh, trump. So he's got the diamonds now, the ace, the ten, cross to the spade, but I think he'll lose a spade at the end if you kept the right card. So you can defeat that contract uh, as well. Let's try another one. One heart, four hearts, and again you've got uh, an ace-king to lead from. Um, and, and I should mention that ace-king leads, leading from a two-card sequence like that of ace-king, is often a good choice. Um, you should not really be leading um, from an unsupported ace, just an ace on its own. But if you've got two cards, then that's often a good choice. And when you do lead um, in this situation, you are, of course, looking for a signal. So that's what this is all about. So you lead the ace of clubs. Your partner plays the three. And uh, Declara plays the seven. Now, again, we can tell right away that three is my partner's lowest uh, club, so it would be a very bad idea to carry on in clubs. What that three means is that your partner doesn't have a, um, a doubleton, unless that's a singleton three. Um, <coughs> he's probably got three cards, so it could well be a layout something like this. And again, I hope you can see that if you try to catch the king of clubs, you'll do that but then uh, you'll give away a trick with the queen. Much better to shift to another suit here. And if you pick a spade and declare a tries the finesse, now what do you think he should lead back? Well, definitely a club. Anytime your partner leads the ace and then stops, he's got one of these slightly uncertain holdings in that suit, one where it may be better for you to lead the suit. So you lead the 10 high from two remaining. And then if uh, Clara lets you win that, you can play another club and take uh, another uh, trick with your club. That's um, it now for the defence. You've made four tricks, and whatever uh, happens now, Clara will make the rest, but you'll have defeated it by one trick. See if you can figure out this one. One heart, two clubs, four hearts, pass, pass, pass. You lead the ace again, and now your partner plays the six, and Declara plays the seven. Can you figure out what that six is? The six is a sort of middling card, isn't it? It's neither really high nor really low. And what I strongly suggest you do in a situation like this is keep your ace of clubs face up while you try to figure out uh, what that six and what the seven of clubs shows. While you're thinking about it, if the other players turn over their cards and you still want to study uh, the layout, just say, oh, please, can you turn the cards back up? So for as long as you keep your card face up on the table, you can ask the other players to put their cards face up. 
once you put your card face down, you lose that right to be able to do that. So this can sometimes take a little while to try to figure this out. But the key to it is to look at your partner's card and to try to figure out if that is their lowest card. And what you need to think about is, are there any clubs lower than the six unaccounted for? What's the answer to that? Well, the answer is that there is. There is the three of clubs that has not appeared on that first trick. So, um, the six of clubs could well be an encouraging signal. Now, De Clara didn't play the three of clubs either, and if he's just played normally, um, the, playing the seven as his lowest card there, it probably means that your partner has the six, and that probably means that it could well be a, uh, a doubleton, or for whatever reason, he's happy for you to carry on in that suit. So you should heed your partner's uh, request and play the king. Okay, there we go. Now he's played the three, so we know he actually was encouraging. Now let's take stock. Uh, eight clubs have gone, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's one more club out, and we know it's the queen. And if we play another club here, let's play the 10, because we want my partner to rough this. Uh, so yes, he's roughed, and it, it captures... Um, Declarer's queen there. Okay, so you've made the first uh, three tricks here. If we bring up the four hands, you'll see that uh, Declarer has one more trick he's going to lose, which is the spade. The spade finesse is off here, so you'll defeat the contract by one trick by persevering with clubs. What about this one? This is quite similar. Again, you lead the uh, Ace against four hearts. Again, your partner plays the uh, six, and Declara plays the eight. And <clears throat> question for you is: Is the six high or low? Can you tell? The question you need to ask is: Are there any clubs lower than your partner's card, lower than the six, unaccounted for? Take a minute. Yes, there is one, and it's the five. So it could well be, as the five has not appeared here, um, that your partner is signaling encouragement on this hand. So again, you should carry on with the king. There's the five, so I know my partner was encouraging. And I play a third round. Oh, and this time your partner wins it with the queen of clubs. So if we rewind the hand, you'll see that... Uh, what the defence need to do on this hand is to take uh, three clubs right away. <coughs> so your partner gave an encouraging signal with a six, this time because he held the queen. When he plays a six, you don't know why he's encouraging, but it should either be in this situation because he's got a doubleton or because he holds the queen. Last example here. You lead the club, and let's actually bring up all four hands at this point and see if you can decide what should East play on this club. Should East encourage? Well, East has Jack 10 5, but that is not good enough. When your partner leads the Ace, you should assume they have the Ace and the King, not necessarily the Queen, and you should signal accordingly. So unless you have a doubleton, unless you have a queen, you should play low. And your partner should, again, take a little moment to try and figure out uh, what that five is. Are there any clubs lower than the five unaccounted for? So you can see the two and three were in dummy. You had the four. So your partner... Uh, emphatically on this hand played their lowest club. So you should not really be encouraging uh, with this whole... You should not be encouraged by that five. The five was discouraging and uh, your partner does not really want to encourage you to carry on with this suit. 
If you'd had, for example, though, the ace, king, queen yourself, then you would have happily carried on in that suit without any encouragement. But in this situation, your partner's uh, five is discouraging and you should probably switch to another suit. Um, just one other thing on this hand. If declarer, instead of playing the six from their hand here, had played the nine, that's what's known as a false card. They are false carding you to confuse you, to maybe make you think that um, uh, your partner's uh, five was not their <coughs> uh, lowest card. Try Just trying to confuse you. I mean, on this particular layout, it wouldn't work. You, you would still realize that five is your partner's lowest card and uh, you shouldn't be pulled by anything. So your partner discourages you, you should switch to another suit. Suppose again you try a spade, your partner can win that to one with a king. And what should your partner play back? Well, absolutely clearly the jack of clubs. Anytime your partner leads the ace um, and then stops, you've got to be thinking, why has he done that? It must be because he's uh, worried about setting up a trick for declarer, but you can safely uh, lead a jag of clubs. Indeed, that traps the queen and it will allow the defense to make uh, three clubs together with that one spade to defeat the contract. So um, get into the habit of trying to analyze your partner's card, uh, look at whether it's high or low, and take your time at this point. Don't, don't be put off by the opponents wanting to play to the next trick. You can see a link to all my videos on uh, Tony Store Bridge Class, so you can search for it on uh, YouTube. And uh, I've just actually had my first uh, most popular video now has reached over a thousand views, so uh, do have a look at uh, some of those. Thank you.